Hi YouTubers, so today we're going to take a look at a fancy box. Just kidding, it's the Espro French Press coffee maker. What's special about this press is that it's stainless steel, insulated, double filtered for a clean cup. So on the outside you see some diagrams of the box. So let's take a look inside. So here are all the pieces, packaging, instructions, and the press itself. So the press here is very heavy, it's solid construction, it's double insulated. Plunger is a little hard to pull up and that's probably because it's dry. And here's the filtering. Uh, you probably can't see it but there's two filters. There's one on the outside and one on the inside. Edges are nice and smooth. And here's the logo on top. The inside is matte with two indication lines. It's pretty nice. So let's measure it. Without anything, it's 620 grams. With the top, it's 855. Okay, so I took off the top and let's see how much water it could hold. Without coffee, roughly about 700 grams. And that's to the top line. Okay, so this is what it looks like after a, a couple months of use. So you see out here, it's not as shiny. Uh, it's a little bit cloudy, but it's mostly oils from the coffee. I see the filter and the seal. Uh, it's a little stained, but overall it's in good condition after three months of use. All the stainless steel parts are rust free still. The only thing is a little discoloration of the seal on the filter. But under that, it's holding up pretty well. None of the mesh is damaged. Let's make a pot. So the first thing I do is fill up the pot with hot water. This is basically so when you pour the hot water into the coffee, you won't lose any heat. I'm basically just priming the pot. Just gonna push this aside. Now let's take a look at the coffee. The coffee here I have is ground coarse. minute or so. I'm going to dump out the hot water. So I'm roughly using about 36 grams of coffee. And I'm going to start filling the pot. Now on this basically I filled up 36 grams to the very top line. That's roughly about 600 milliliters of water. 
In this particular case, I'm not using a scale. I'm basically just following the directions of the book. Under lower line, it's supposed to be 18 to 27 grams of coffee to 450 milliliters of water. Okay, a quick stir. Make sure all the grounds are wet. Okay, uh, put it on the top. And now we're gonna set the timer for four minutes. Okay, four minutes passed. And now we start pushing down the plunger. You're supposed to do this very evenly and slowly so you don't disturb the grounds. Okay, and I still touch the sides. Okay, I touch the sides and it's still pretty hot. Okay, so, so I took a cup and I filled it with hot water so it doesn't lose any heat. Careful, this pot is hot. So as you can see over here, it's steaming hot. This is probably not drinkable at this point. And let's see what the temperature is. And it's reading 180 degrees. I definitely have to wait for this to cool. Okay, so one hour has passed. Uh, this coffee's been sitting out. Uh, it's roughly about 90 degrees. It's probably like lukewarm. Okay, I filled the second cup with hot water. And let's do a second pour. As you see, the insulation still works. The coffee coming out is still hot. And let's get a temperature reading here. One forty after an hour in the press pot. Pretty good. This is like uh, drinkable temperature. Okay. So another hour has passed. So this is the third pour. I see over here it's still steaming hot. And let's see the temperature. Obviously, it's not as hot as the second or first pour, but it's still pretty hot. I had to move my hand. Okay, it looks like it's leveling off. And it's roughly about 128 degrees. Still pretty hot. So, as you can see, the installation works. Let me show you the silk. Pretty much, the, the coffee cup is very clean. Uh, this is the last pour, last bit of water. The double filtration does work. Uh, I can't. I don't know if you could tell in the video, but you can see that the, there's some sediment, very very fine grinds, not really that noticeable. But generally, for a press pot, it's really really good. The press pot is roughly about $100, a hundred dollars, a little bit expensive. So let's go into the cleaning. Uh, this is the least favorite part of this. You see over here, majority of the grounds are on the bottom and there's still some liquid left. So what I like to do is to dump it in a strainer. Uh, you could save the coffee for a compost. But not all of it comes out. You need to fill the pot with more water to get the grinds out. 
Also, because this is a metal filter, the coffee is very oily. So you definitely need to use soap and just not rinse it out. You need to wash the inside of the filter. And you can do that by spinning it off and popping it open. For $100, this is pretty good. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the cleanup. It does require some effort. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Or if you have any questions, put them below. Thanks.